Ontario Reign star player and AHL MVP TJ Tynan has had his contract extended by the LA Kings. Let's discuss. What is this? Hey, I'm Gio. I'm a professional sportscaster and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things Pacific Division hockey. TJ Tynan is a name that we have covered on this channel before when we had a look into the stats that he achieved in this past season of the AHL. He's been playing for the LA Kings franchise this season on a one year contract on a cap hit of $750,000 and he was brought in as an unrestricted free agent. Well, now he's had his contract extended by the LA Kings for another two years at an average annual value of $787,500. As reported by Puckpedia, this will break down to an NHL salary of 800k in the upcoming season with a 500k minus salary and a minimum guaranteed 525k. When he moves into the 2023 to 24 season, his contract is going to become a one-way contract and that will pay $775,000. The Kings have a pretty solid offense right now and given Tynan's age at 30, it's very unlikely he's going to be moving to anything like a, a top six role in the club. But it is entirely likely that he will get to see some NHL ice time this upcoming season and hopefully build on the one career point that he has had over his entire 21 games ever played in the NHL. Uh, two of which were for the Kings in this past season, but that one point didn't come in those two games. While playing in the AHL, it's likely he will still prove to be a big force to be reckoned with across the league, but I think also he can provide some really solid veteranship for all of the upcoming development uh, talent that's going to be coming in through the squad. I think TJ Tynan has proven himself to be a really valuable asset to the LA Kings organization, even if it's not, you know, mostly in the NHL itself, he has proven to be massive in the AHL, and I'm very excited to see him sign on for another two years with the org. Would love to know you guys' feelings about TJ Tynan's contract being extended, how you feel about him as a player, especially given that he sort of sits in this in-between phase where he's the best of the AHL, but not necessarily good enough to be one of the NHL guys. Maybe this upcoming season is going to be his season to prove otherwise. Who knows? But either way, he's going to be on the organization one way or another love to know you guys feelings but other than that i will see you guys in the next video goodbye